Hello YouTube, today we're going to be showing a video on the differences between the balance shaft and the non-balance shaft 4.3 Vortec motors. This is a non-balance shaft TBI engine out of an 89 Chevy S10. As you can see, no balance shaft in our intake valley at all. So, come over here to our balance shaft CPI 94 Chevy 4.3 motor. So this motor will be going in this 89 S10 I have here. That one's trash. So a couple of differences. With this balance shaft here, this was only used on, well this was used on a TBI motor, this was a CPI motor. Anyways, so the intakes on them are different from the ones on the non-balance shaft engine. Reason being, our balance shaft, no shit. Well, this far back down over here, no problem. It'll just slap right on. Right here though, you got an issue because I'll go over here. Okay. So see this bung down here? It's got a three-eighths, or actually it's probably a half-inch pipe plug here. The three-eighths drive on it. Anyways, so that creates a mounting issue about that width uh, or that uh, depth of mounting issue to mount it into the intake. Solution, cut it off. Um, I believe it was a drain for coolant, honestly. You can kind of see it runs from these coolant passages up into this guy, circles back around. Not entirely sure why the intake has it, but it's not going to have it once we get this motor back in. So, um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to get probably an oxy torch, cut this off, and then tap this plug, like I said, I think it's a half inch pipe plug, two or three threads into the intake farther so that we can have that flush with it so that we can mount the intake. That's the big step, big difference when going from the non-balance shaft to the balance shaft. Now, like I said, this is a 94 four wheel drive. This is an 89. There's another difference. I just noticed this one. Did not realize it beforehand. So this is our oil pan off the 94 four-wheel drive S10. Great. Pretty standard. Looks pretty similar to your standard small block Chevy oil pan. Cool. So, over here is the 89, which as you can see is different. Reason being for that, the front axle in the next generation of this pickup is moved forward I believe a little bit and so when the motor sits back or the motor sits farther back vice versa either or so what would happen if I were to try to install that motor in here is we're gonna put our oil pan into the front axle down there we don't want that so moral of the story kids change your oil pans over to the old style to fit the newer motor other differences on these motors, this is more internal stuff. The camshaft on these guys has more lift, more duration than this guy. The uh, OG TBI is uh, like 87 to 92, I want to say, 91. They ran a really, really weak cam. The cam specs uh, fail me right now, but... Uh, this was the weakest 4.3 cam stock cam you could get in any generation of 4.3. The CPI motor has the best cam you can get in any stock 4.3. Better than the 96 and laters. Look it up. Anyways, other than that, pretty much everything bolts on. You can see this. We got half our accessory brackets on here already. Um, old crank pulley, that good stuff. Um, motor mounts bolt on. Um, literally everything else is pretty much a direct swap. Um, like I said, for my case, I'm using it with a stock um, harness. Um, I'll do some modifications to it a little bit, but uh, so the whole stock TBI unit will run just fine on this motor with the computer and all that jazz. Um, only difference is being you're going to have a little bit more lift on the cam, so I've read some people will go and get custom chips burned. That's not necessary, although if you want the best optimal performance for this balance shaft motor with the TBI on it, with the better cam, you're going to want to get a chip burned. 
Me, I'm not going to do that. It's an 89 S10. It doesn't need that. But, oh, well, I hope someone learned something from this. Thanks. See you next time.